Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. What is he doing? Is he dead or is he sleeping? <laughs> I'm not gonna touch him. <laughs> oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> but I hope you're having a beautiful morning. It's a nice morning. So today, guys, I stopped in. I just wanted to share with you all some things maybe you didn't know was in your used to soil. Yeah. Yeah, some things we need to check before we replant and put another plant in that used soil, right? Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> yeah. They are beautiful. I love it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there are so many um, insects and critters that live in our soil. We must look because soil is life. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a beautiful meatless Monday. Have a beautiful meatless Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get on with the video. Yeah. So I'm out here to replant um, two of my broccoli romanescos. Now, I had my patty pan squash right here, but I took her down because she was dying. And I was wondering why was she dying like that? So of course, I kinda, you know, went through my checklist, you know, <laughs> trying to figure out what was taking this girl out because she was doing so great. So I decided to go ahead on and take her down. But when I took her down, get in that soil and find out why. And yes, family, I found out why. This is the why. Those are ground grubs. That's what they are. Big, fat, healthy ground grubs. Um, there's one, where he at? Oh, he's trying to get down deep in the soil, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna get him. And I think there's about 10, I don't know, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I counted 10. Yeah, they're probably in the soil, but let me get them. And this is why my little patty squash died. It's because they got infested with ground grubs. So if you don't know anything about ground grubs, ground grubs eat the roots of your vegetables. And they will stay there all winter long. You see how you digging their way in the soil? They will stay there all winter long. And then when they come up in the spring, they are Japanese beetles. That's who she is. From a ground grub eating all of the roots of your vegetables to a Japanese beetle, which is just destructive things. So, I'm going to take care of these babies right here. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I'm going to put my um, broccoli romanesco in this. This um, It's a 7 or 10 gallon um, grow bag. I'll share it with you when I'm done. All right. There are so many more beetles and larvae in our soil other than ground grubs so think about it in the spring when we plant out all our vegetables and just out of nowhere insects begin to show up aphids so let me tell you about aphids some aphids live and overwinter in our soil they are root aphids check it out y'all and what they do they suck the sap out of roots that is in the soil 
soil is life no matter how you look at it right and many many uh you have weevils that live in your soils um all kinds of um larvae of insects lives in the soil and many times we are not trying to get these larvae out of our soils when we are replanting in used soil. Yes, used soil is great. It is amazing stuff. But yeah, you really need to check that soil for anything that is living and moving around in that soil. Because if you put a plant in there with it, it will suck the sap out of it. <laughs> so, research common insects, larvae that live in the soils of in our garden, and you will find many insects uh, that you had not thought about, like the aphids. We know they're the first ones in our garden, and that is because this is their address. <laughs> so pay attention to all of these moving insects in our garden beds and not just getting the roots out and then just amend it and you know put another plant in it yeah because it's it's gold i mean it's it's some good stuff after it's being used and yeah but is also life for insects that want to eat what we want to eat. Yeah? So research the most common insects or larvae that overwinters or lives in our garden soil. And you will be surprised of all the insects you will find. I have seen many uh, moving little larvae in my garden uh, beds. Like um, they look, some looks like maggots, even aphids or mealybugs. Mealybugs larvae. Yeah, they're also living in the soil and sucking up the sap. The most common types of root pest, and this will give you more information on your used soil. All right, I am done. Uh, she's in there. She's looking good. What is this? Okay. She's looking good. Um, I've hit her up good with some 511. I also put some of this free coffee grounds I had. I got about another bag full. So I just put a handful or two in there with her. And um, we'll see how she do. It's a broccoli romanesco. That is that is what I do know. And there's some basil behind her. But I'm going to put some garlic and onions in this bag with her. But I'll do that in the morning. Hello, everyone. My little plant. So this is what happens when a plant is too big for me now. I don't know about anybody else. Just for me, right? And I repot her, and she just don't acclimate to the soil to the soil fast enough, and she cannot handle the. Uh, she cannot pick up her leaves anymore, right? So this is what you do, fam. Your plant is not dead. Just cut off all of those big leaves. Cut them off. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a waste, but you know, in order to save this plant, this is what I'm gonna have to do. Let me try to take that off. Now, just cut off all the big leaves. Right, take them off. Put that in the super juice. And now, now she will survive. She will survive. She will get strong. 
So I will leave her in this container and I will bring you all back to see what she looks like. You'll see. She's going to get big and strong. All right. Let's go check on these plantains, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so these are my plantains. And here she is. There she is right there. There she is. Let's get up with this. These are up there having a ball. She's opening up, bringing out those racks. That's what she's doing. It's beautiful. It's in the evening and yeah. You're doing good. I don't know if you can see the bees up there, but they're up there. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. So this is the wine where the flower is just coming out. So there she is. This is the first one. <clears throat> the bees are out there too. That's how she is back there. She have one, two, three, it look like four tiers of Plantains. Yeah. Mm. She's good looking. 